Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel that is AirTech. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be on a very important topic that is how to get a release from a project or how to get into a good project. So these two points we are going to discuss in detail. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end. Before moving forward, I have a humble and polite risk request for all you guys, for all the viewers who are currently watching this video. Please like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any update or any video or even any post. So let us begin. In this video, we will be discussing three important points that is if you have got a support project or if you have got a project where you have nothing to learn. Okay. And the second point is that if you are having a morning shift or a night shift, that is a US based project. So what should you do in that case? And the third point is how you can get into a desired project. Okay. But the most important point here is how you can convince your current project manager or the supervisor to give you release. So we will discuss first. Okay. So the first thing that you can do is you can go and you can create a T factor more than one. So this is a prerequisite. Okay. For most of the courses, it is required that you should have a T factor more than one. Okay. You can do some internal certifications or you can do some courses. Okay. That will help you to enhance your skills. Okay. The third point is to get into a desired project that is automation development or even testing or any other project. Okay. You can follow these processes. The first one is that you can explain to your manager about your current situation. You can give some reason. You can tell them that this is a particular reason why I don't want to work in this project because I'm not getting anything to learn. And for my career, I think this should be the best option. I should go into development or rather testing or automation something or you can work on different tool. The second point is that you can try and explain about your skill set or the tech stack that you have learned. Okay. But in this case, you can show them the proof that you have learned this particular skill from this particular platform. You have done a certification and you have uh, a brief knowledge about this tech stack. So that is the reason I could be of better use in different kind of project, not this support project or not this technology. Okay, because I know a friend who explained to his manager who was very strict, by the way, the manager was very strict and he was very uh, giving a lot of work to him support kind of work. Okay, it was into a mainframe technology, but it was kind of support work. So it was it, his job was to raise tickets and something like that. Okay, uh, get it solved from the ops team or development team. So this was his role. So what he did was he explained everything in detail to the manager that this is the skill that I have and I have been learning this from a last one year. Okay. So can you please give me release so that I can join this particular project. Now coming to a third point, what that person did was my friend did was he connected with the people who uh, were already in the project that he was uh, learning about. Okay. So let me explain this uh, in a, a good way. So what he did was he suppose consider that he was working uh, currently in the support project and he was learning about AWS. Okay. DevOps kind of things. So what he did was he connected with the people on LinkedIn, the people who are already working in TCS under the DevOps category. He connected with them. Okay. On LinkedIn and he approached them and he shared his resume with the person. Okay. So what did the, that person did was they shared it with their manager or team lead or the project manager. And in this way, he got connected with the project manager or wherever there was a requirement for that kind of skill. Okay. I hope you guys are getting what I'm trying to say. So what you can do is you can go to the canteens, you can connect with people, you can have a chat, okay, a small chat, you can attend any offline events that are there in the campus, you will get to connect with a lot of people from different fields, okay, different projects. So you will ultimately know that what are the different opportunities that are available, okay, you can also use a TCS internal portal, okay, but a lot of times this is not of not any use. So that is the reason why I say that you can connect and network with people on LinkedIn or in the canteen or in the any offline events. So therein you will be getting any opening or any kind of uh, vacancy in internal projects. Okay. So this is the third thing. Fourth thing what we don't recommend usually is because a lot of uh, man managers and project leads or project managers supervisors they are a little hesitant while giving the uh, release. The reason is very simple because they have spent a lot of amount of time training you okay in that particular soft uh, support role or any other role so that is the reason they will again have to go to their delivery manager they will have to convince them that we need one more associate or we, we need one more resource so what what they will do is they will try to keep you okay but you should be stuck you should be stumped, like, stuck on this particular point that i want to release 
okay so what we don't recommend is you should not do like this that i will not work i will give i will not open my laptop i will not answer any emails i will not uh, reply to any messages on teams so don't do this okay we do not recommend this okay some people think that if they don't work okay ultimately the manager will give release but this does not happen okay a lot of times this does not happen so and one more important thing is that the supervisor or the hr from your unit okay business unit what they usually feel is that if you get on a bench okay after you get released from the project you get on a bench and as you all know that there is no risk at all when you are bench on in tcs okay in other companies there is a risk they might remove you as well but in tcs they won't remove you even if you are on a bench for one year two years or any time any time okay so what happens is the supervisor wants that your skills or your uh, your time should should be filled okay with an uh, uh, allocation okay so you should be employed to a project you should be allocated to a project so what you can do is i told you right the third point you should connect and you can, you should on your behalf search for the projects okay in this way you can convince the support manager or the supervisor or the project manager that yes i have got this opportunity i have given the internal interviews also and i'm i i'm 100 sure that i will be getting the, into this project so can you please help me with that so in this way you can convince them that i already found a project and there is a vacancy in that project and i want to move to that project because that project is uh, is where i can implement my skills and i can grow okay the last option probably is resignation a lot of people actually what they do is if they are not getting released from the project they directly add their resignation okay they directly resign at that particular point of time so this is what we don't suggest usually if you want really to come out of any project then you should try all these four things last option is resignation okay now a lot of software uh, like project managers usually don't uh, uh, don't uh, release you from the project right so in that case the last option can be resignation otherwise you can try all the four options okay now guys if you have any more questions you can ask in the comment section okay we will try to answer all those questions and please like this video guys if you found found this helpful or informative okay and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you will be getting regular updates you will be getting regular informative videos and whatnot so stay stay tuned and thank you for watching this video hope you all have a great day